In this tutorial, I will show how to export models from Rhino into Vasari for using these models for simulation within Vasari. Further, there is some stuff you should be aware of regarding the geometry, layers and export-import that I will explain. First, try to avoid form that is based on splines and circles. This can give a very meshed form like this that have a lot of faces instead of try to have more simple shapes like a cylinder or even more simple like box or if you want to have a round building use a extruded polygon instead second try to work with the layers that's always a good idea so you have the option of turn on or off the different objects even though that with this method from Rhino to Vasari doesn't support exporting layers, then it's a good idea to work in layers within Rhino. And this gives also the possibility of exporting it in different and separate files, the different objects. So as basic, you should have the ground in one layer, trees in another layer, for example, and the context, because that will have a shading effect inside Vasari for the simulations so they should also be in separate layer and in this case where there is a base for the building that's also a good idea to have placed in a separate but layer so it can be turned on and off and of course the form concepts in its own layer and this is very important if you want to use the model for energy analysis to have it in a separate file as mentioned it is a good idea to export the different object types in different files. At least you should have it grouped with the context like the buildings, trees, the ground surface, whatever you have in the context. That should be in one file. So I select those I want to export on the layers and right click and say select objects. So now all these objects selected. Then I go to file, say export selected. Always give the files a logical name in this case, I'm exporting the context, so I call this for context model. Then you should choose the file type of .sat. You could also export it as .dwg, but this .sat file have the best export possibilities concerning the geometry. And then save. Here you should choose the inventor export option and click OK. And then the context is exported open up Vasari and create a new file. The first step in here is to create a mass because if you want to use the functionalities from the analysis part with the wind tunnel and solar radiation you get the most out of the model if you import it into a mass. In this way it actually become in some way native Vasari geometry. I will show this later. First create a mass. Now we in inside of the mass editing mode and I can see it because of these finish and cancel mass. In here I go to Vasari icon, go to import, import cat, select the file I want to import. The first step is the context. Make sure that you choose the same import units. In this case I have modeled the Rhino model in millimeters. Positioning here is a very good idea to select the auto origin to origin. In this way you can import form concepts and have it placed in the same way they are placed inside the Rhino model. I'll come back to this. So choose origin to origin and open. Sometimes it can take a little bit time to import the model depending on how complex or how much geometry there is inside the model. Here we see the model and as I said earlier using the set file it put everything into the same file and to illustrate this I press VV to go to the visibility settings and under imported categories I have the imported layers and it put everything in layer 0 when I use the set file unfortunately. If I had used the DVD it will have imported in the layers that have been used inside Rhino but it will mesh the geometry and it will not be that nice to look at. So if you want to have the option of turning the trees off, you need to export these 
in a separate file. And when you have imported, you will press finish, and then there will come this warning. And this warning means that inside this mask there is only mesh geometry. And that means that it's not solid and closed geometry. But that's okay, because we are not going to use this model for anything else than just like shading and, and context. But if we should use a model for energy simulation, then we should be aware of this warning. But in this case, that's okay. Back in Rhino, if we then have created some different form concepts that we want to test and analyze within Vasari, we could export them as well in a separate file. In this case, where the design looks like uh, this with some kind of base, then this part should be exported as a separate file. So first I will save the base. The reason for I'm suggesting to save this as a separate file is that this is a part of the design and maybe this base had another design so it would be necessary to export it individually. So I select the base that is put in this building's non-thermal layer and select objects and go again to file export selected on this one I'm called the base and save and in the same sequence I will export the building as well right click select objects file export selected and again calling this a logical name it could be form concept 1 and as you can see, it remember that you have chosen the set file early on. And it should always be this. Save, Inventor. Back in Vasari, you do the same. Create a new mask for first the base. Import, CAD. Select the, the base. And here it's important that you choose origin to origin to have it placed the same way in the Rhino model. And millimeters, and open. And when it's imported, you say finish. This is the same, it consists of single surfaces, that's okay. Create a new mask for the building. Go to import again, import CAD. Select form concept 1, origin to origin, millimeters, open, and finish. As you can see, I didn't came up with any warning, and that was because it's a closed object. So this one I can use for energy simulation. And to just illustrate this, Quick, I can select the object, say mass floors, and divide it up in floors with this mass floor function. And now we will see it created into a mass floor model. Further, to illustrate it, go to analyze and say show mass surfaces. Here we have a conceptual energy model.